Okay, so I recently watched the new Chainsaw Man trailer, and I'm not gonna lie, it was quite sick, it was actually quite hectic, man. So straight away, I'm not even gonna lie, I started reading the manga, and I read the first three arcs of the manga, and yo, this is actually so different, it's actually much more different than I had anticipated, like it's so much more darker, so much more gory, however, it's just has a different vibe from every other shonen manga and anime I've watched and read before. So yeah, it's actually quite interesting. Like for example, in every other shonen manga and anime, right? You have your normal teenage boy. He has a dream. He tries to get into this field where he wants to be the best at, and then he works his way up. Now here though, the goal and the dream is a bit questionable <laughs> it's a bit questionable i'm not gonna lie but i'm not gonna lie it's quite entertaining it is quite entertaining so without further ado let's get straight into this review okay so we start off with our main character called denji now this guy is a broke ass guy man he's a broke young teenager and he is unfortunately trying to pay off his father's debts now this guy unfortunately left a lot of money for denji to kind of pay back so this it kind of sucks for him you know but the way he's paying back is by being a devil hunter so in this world there are devils it's kind of weird there's some weird as kind of devil like you've got the tomato devil you've got some weird i don't know the, it's weird man even like when i first kind of read this i'm like bro what am i reading like there's like this chainsaw devil a tomato devil like any a devil can be like anything with a specific component if that makes sense so his devil's name is pochita pochita is the chainsaw devil apparently they made some contract before so they could like work together i think that's how you work with devils and how you use their powers by making contracts with each other now him and pochita used to hunt down de devils to pay off the debts and, and and then the guy who they worked with i feel like he was a bit unfair he wasn't paying him right like you know what i mean i think he was paying him like the minimum wage so but this denji guy he just says yes he's a yes man he says yes to anything i feel like he's also very what's it called he's very grateful for for what he has you know because he's never experienced anything like um pressure like you know food like like crazy amount of food he's never experienced like a proper bedroom he's never experienced like a pr he's just a very he's very broke he's very unfortunate you know so this man denji never takes anything for granted so we know that that's his character so far now unfortunately these guys that denji had worked for had ambushed him because they wanted the devil's power as well like what denji had done with the chainsaw devil they wanted to do that to a greater extent so they pretty much ambushed denji and pochita and pretty much killed denji now before just before denji died pochita he literally gave his heart in exchange to see denji's dreams so like i said i think that's like another contract thing but i feel like this contract was very sincere it wasn't like extreme i feel like the more we go down the story the more extreme the contracts get like what's it called the, what's it called the price to be paid is like a lot higher compared to this so i feel like pochita is one of those rare good-hearted devils you know that just wanted to see his dreams in exchange to give him this extraordinary look some crazy power like yo i'm not gonna lie some of the art of this manga is absolutely oh my god it's so so good it's actually so good like the action in this manga is absolutely crazy man it's so so good so denji pretty much annihilates everyone and then we then get introduced to a character called makima makima comes and kind of like i don't know calms denji down because i feel like denji just has that soft spot for women and that's also one of denji's massive dreams is just to you know hug a woman that was his first one so then makima hugs him and then that's one dream down and then yeah we just pretty much go from dream to dream after that you know what i mean so yeah makima sees denji as a very special devil now denji is very interesting he's like half devil half human you get like there's um you can either be a devil or a human right or a fiend which we later find out through the character of power now power yo power i absolutely love her i think power is a very very good character she's always interesting when she's on the page yeah i think i found power very good and like i said these character designs as well 
they're very very neat and crisp i love them the art in this manga is absolutely amazing i have to give it a 10 out of 10 for the art itself is a 10 out of 10 i have to i have to give it that so that pretty much is the first arc now um we also got introduced to another character his name is hayakawa hayakawa um or i think we can also call him aki i don't know which one to call him um so yeah he I think is like Denji's supervisor or like he's like the team leader that the, that the team Denji um, goes into because um Makima takes Denji into like um oh damn I forgot the facility's name they're like some devil hunting um corporations or something so yeah he gets um assigned to there and then Hayakawa is pretty much like his leader or the team leader so yeah that kind of concludes the first arc that's like the introduction um, introduction arc now we are going to cover the next two arcs in this video so then we move on to the bat devil arc now the bat devil arc literally enhanced it literally showed us how crazy the action can be and with beautiful art as well. I keep mentioning these two things because I feel like it really excels in both of these departments, you know? So then we first start off with um, Power. We get to know her, what's it called? Her backstory a bit, how she, what's it called? Had this relationship with a cat called Miyawi, you know? So she kind of, <laughs> yo, oh my God. She kind of tells Denji like, okay, what's your dream? And Denji's like, hey man, I just want to touch some chest. <laughs> That's all. I just want to touch some chest. And then, you know, what's it called? Power was like, if you help me find my cat, I will let you, you know, I'll make your dream come true. That's pretty much what she said, you know? I'll make your dream come true. So, you know, they both had a mutual agreement. However, once they got to the specific location that the cat was kept um, captive, power betrayed Denji. And yeah, I kind of saw this coming. Not really, but I kind of did. Because she was a um, a fiance. You know, a fiance like a devil with high intelligence, I think. So, power is a devil. She is a devil, but with proper intelligence, I think. I'm not... 100% sure still I think there's more to disco um, discover with Fians so yeah I'll just keep on reading and you know hopefully we can find more about Fians in the future now after Denji got betrayed by power he was taken hostage by the bat devil who kept the cat as a hostage the bat promised power that if he brings a human so okay another thing is with devils right if you drink a devil's blood you recover only if you're a devil only if you are a devil if you drink blood you recover right so this bat devil wanted human blood so he could recover because this bat was super injured so once power brought brought back denji he um the bat devil used denji's blood to recover however what's it called denji's blood tasted foul because i'm pretty sure he's half devil that's why but he still managed to recover now here's the thing though right denji was seriously injured as well because of the bad devil and power how they kind of you know kind of knocked him down and stuff so he drank the bat devil to recover himself that is absolutely hectic when that happened i'm like yo he can do that so like i said he does have half devil devil power so he can regenerate if he is kind of badly wounded so yeah and then comes probably the best action of the whole entire um of the part i've read so far like this bat devil and denji just went absolutely nuts man i feel like denji's like design in the chainsaw man form is absolutely badass man and then the bat devil himself i think he was drawn absolutely brilliantly as well and yeah eventually denji started to overpower the bat devil he beats the bat devil and after he beats it the bat devil's girlfriend <laughs> a devil a devil who's a girlfriend of another yeah I, I don't know now this is i think this was like the leech devil and yes um denji lost a lot of blood uh, he, he's like he can't fight anymore and this is where we see hayakawa's power he has the fox devil he doesn't have it he's in contract with the fox devil so it's not like denji denji's like part devil part human hayakawa hayakawa is fully human however he has a contract with the fox devil we let we later find out that apparently a lot of people are contracted with the fox devil so it's not like they have a, they have the fox inside like naruto it's not like naruto the fox devil is a proper devil but it's just contracted with a lot of humans and that's what every single devil hunters pretty much do they are contracted with a devil 
in order to defeat other devils so that's actually quite interesting i'm not gonna lie okay so this part so once the, everything was over right denji showed a lot of potential right he managed to amaze makima even more now however what's so called makima wants to go after the gun devil i feel like a lot of people a lot of devil hunters wants to go after the gun devil because yo this gun devil is insane bro apparently it kills like i don't know thousands of people in seconds but this happened a very very long time ago i think it was like 500 years ago that the gun devil just hasn't been active but I th i've never seen power level like this like well this might be one of of the best villains potentially because i haven't even read the gun devil part yet but i'm actually super super excited to go to the gun devil i don't know i feel like this is sick man i think this is very sick now i think makima sees denji as a very she sees potential in him right so in order to make this guy active for her own goals because i want to get one thing straight makima treats denji and both power like dogs right since they i don't know what i, can't, I don't trust makima number one i don't trust her you can tell by her eyes man her eyes look look they look they look like she's trying to hypnotize someone that's what it looks like makima is you can't trust her she is messed up i, I can already tell that she is like that however however she was like listen denji if you kill the gun devil I will grant you any wish and we know that Denji is a thirsty ass guy. He wants it. He wants it bad. So he said yes without any hesitation. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see Denji going after the gun devil because Makima also does explain that think of anything like for example if you have a car devil do you really find a car like what's it called scary but then you've got a gun a chainsaw like just think about it in general i feel like chainsaw as an object is one of the most scariest objects that you can pretty much think of and now we move on to the last arc of this video the third arc of the whole story eternity devil arc now this arc was actually quite interesting i'm not gonna lie um so they were like Hayakawa's team. I'm, not, I'm gonna call him Aki. I don't know, but I'm kind of used to saying Hayakawa, so I'm just gonna say Hayakawa. His team was assigned, not his team, there was another. I forgot the girl with the glasses name. What was her name again? The one that looks like Hanji from Attack on Titan. I'm just gonna call her girl with glasses for now. Hopefully, next part I'll get it right. My, my apologies, right? My apologies. So, her team and Hayakawa's team got assigned to kind of tackle this devil, the Eternity Devil, in like this building, right? Now, this devil is very. He's a it's a problem to deal with, right? Because eventually everyone gets stuck in the eighth floor. It's like a loop. You can't escape it. For um, for example, you can't kill this eternity devil because I don't know. It's just it's such a problem to be honest. But the one thing we know is that this devil can feel pain if you attack it. But then it multiplies if you do attack it. So yeah at first when i read this i'm like how are they going to actually beat this devil because they, unless they bring out a trump card but no they didn't it, the way they killed this eternity devil actually kind of makes sense in the most simplest way but before we even get to that part this devil wanted denji dead like so badly it sees denji as a massive threat i feel like yo like what is it i think because you know why because Denji is so different from everyone else. He's half devil and half human. But you, when you see power, power is definitely full devil but with high intelligence. And then you've got your normal hunters who are full human with a contract with the devil. However, Denji is literally half human and half devil. I think that is why Makima sees so much potential in him. And why that this devil literally wants to kill Denji so, so badly. I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel like Denji is a really big problem for devils in general. So literally this devil says if you guys give me denji i will set you free and i'm not gonna let everyone turn against denji except for one person and that is hayakawa now before this even happened hayakawa and denji had so much beef man they they used to go at, um, at each other they used to hate each other i think they still do but i feel like hayakawa sees something in denji he sees some potential as well and i think he has his inner respect um what's it called so he's definitely got a soft spot for him because he just took a what's it called knife he literally took a knife for him and then he got injured and then we also know one thing is that hey Hayakawa has like this sword thingy he has this sword that we don't we didn't see but apparently once he uses it it will take away time from his life so it's interesting to see how that will develop in the future now then denji went beast mode denji went chainsaw mode and he just 
the his strategy it was so simple but yet so effective it was just to cause as much pain as he possibly can to the eternity devil because he can feel pain and too and sometimes you can't withstand so much pain that you just have to give up it makes complete sense and i absolutely love that whole thought of it you know and eventually once this eternity devil felt all of these pain it ended up giving up its heart and then denji absolutely slashed it now apparently this fight went on for days like bro the durability of Denji is mad because, by the way, like obviously Denji was losing a lot of blood because this Eternity Devil was attacking him multiple times. Denji was filling himself up by drinking the Eternity Devil's blood, which, like I said, it's just mental, man. That's how we just went on for so many days. And after the fight was done, he was knocked out. Out. And yeah, at the end, like everyone, you know, managed to throw a party f just for the, the success. And then I feel like, it, it, like, like leaders especially were kind of sus um, of Makima. They feel like that she's hiding something. And then they're like, okay, so, they were having a drinking contest, right? And Makima was like, if you out drink me, I'll tell you. And then she ended up just beating everyone. So yeah, we can't get any secrets from Makima. However, this part, oh my god. This was like, you know when you read something and you actually feel something? Like, yo, I, th I remember what to go, um, this girl, right? The girl with glasses. No, I don't, did she have glasses? Or did she, no, she had an eye patch, my bad. She had an eye patch. Yeah, the girl with eye patch, right? She's like to Denji, if you kill the Eternity Devil, then you'll, you'll get a kiss, you know? And then, yeah, he got that kiss, but for what? <laughs> because this girl literally puked. Oh, my days, like this panel was so disgusting it was so so disgusting yeah that's that's not a first um that's not a first first kiss you'd want to remember <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it was nasty anyway so she then took him home as well it was actually wild but then denji's pure thought of you know that of granting of you know of what's it called chasing that wish for for makima kept him you know from doing anything crazy with with eye patch girls, so that's mad. So when they woke up, they literally um, formed an alliance. How eye patch girl will help Denji, um, what's it called, be with Makima, and how Denji will help eye patch girl be with Hayakawa because apparently Hayakawa is an interest to to that to that girl. Anyway, to end this video off, at the end of this chapter, Makima was in a train. And she got freaking am not ambushed. I feel like there was pe there was ki there was like um, assassins behind her, and then literally shot her in the head. And now she, I don't know if she's dead. I don't think she is dead. I feel like Makima's what like she's definitely something. She's definitely something. Like yo, she her eyes itself is just it's like. It's like she's using the thing from Naruto, the, uh, the the eyes that pain has, you know? I swear she's so... I don't think she's dead. I think she... You know what? This is my prediction. I think Makima is also half devil, half human. I don't, I don't think she's dead. I think she's also a special case like Denji. Maybe that's why she sees so much potential in Denji. But don't spoil it for me, guys, because I have not read any further after this. But yeah, that is my first read through of the chainsaw man now overall i see a lot of potential in this story i feel like um the art and then the fight scenes were absolutely amazing and some of the thought behind what's to call the battles were absolutely good as well i can see where this story is going it's very different from every other shonen anime at, at the same time i feel like this story will have a lot of plot twists going forward so i'm expecting some because it is a newer manga i feel like these new mangas are really really good so i I'm very excited to continue and uh, yeah, read more. Now, if you guys have a um, if you guys are watching this and you've read more than me, if there's a specific point that you want me to stop, I can stop at that point and make an article review the next part. So let me know down in the comments below. But overall, I'm gonna give the first three arcs a 7.5 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it and I cannot wait to read more. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't, cause we're gonna you know upload massive content going forward and of course do all the fun stuff comment down below let me know what you guys think and until then i will see you guys in the next video now take care now bye